Now the area's certified most accurate forecast. Your weather on the fives with meteorologist Jordan Lehman. All right, it's Monday. Let's get to that extended forecast now. Apple 10, 19 degrees on our live Skyview Network cameras presented by Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Here's College Avenue. See the morning commuters there? They're going to be doing just fine because we don't have any snow in the forecast for the first half of the day. It's the second half where things get a little tricky. So green light, good to go for the morning. As we dive into the afternoon, that's when the snow will start to move in, probably shortly after lunchtime. And then once we hit the evening commute and tonight, that's when travel will be at its most slick, given uh, the snow that will be falling. So there could be some flakes or drizzle out and about early today, but those are pretty random and isolated. But as we get into those early afternoon hours, then into 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock, a wet snowy mix comes about, and I'm calling it a wet snow today. Look at those temperatures above freezing just by a little bit. So with the road conditions that will slowly worsen through the day, we have a winter weather advisory for central Wisconsin. This lasts until midnight. Then you go up north and that goes until 3 a.m. So you can kind of judge the timing on this one by that graphic there. But here's what I'm expecting. A widespread two to four inches of this heavy wet snow and you get to Wausau and Rhinelander up to two inches there. But I'd say a pretty good guess uh, given the conditions out there today, about two to four inches that we'll be shoveling off tonight into tomorrow. So on radar, it's spinning around. It's picking up a few isolated flurries by Stevens Point and Watoma. Debatable if those are hitting the ground right now, but the vast majority of this is going to hold off with this system out of the central plain. So you can see the rain showers and that wintry mix moving into Iowa and even southern Wisconsin, just south of Madison right now. So on Futurecast, watch this move up upward. Here's the lunch hour. Probably still not a whole lot going on at that time. Early afternoon, the snow starts to develop here once we get to about 4 or 5 o'clock. Evening commute home from work, and that looks snowy at this time. So going into the overnight hours tonight, here's 10 o'clock, still some snow, maybe a little wintry mix further south with some drizzle. And then that pulls out of here shortly after midnight, and skies will begin to clear into tomorrow. But our highs today, kind of a big deal here because some of those snowflakes may mix over to either rain droplets or uh, some drizzle later on. So we're going to watch that very carefully. An above average day for us today. We're going to hit about average for tomorrow, though. So we go from 35 to 29. And then a brief cool down. It's going to be here, and you're going to feel it. Our little Arctic blast for us Wednesday, Thursday. But just like last week, it's short lived because by the weekend, we'll be teasing 40 degrees again. A live look outside at Main Street in Oshkosh at 16 with a light east northeast wind, five miles per hour. Right now, a wind chill is coming in at nine. So for today, mostly cloudy skies in the afternoon and evening. That's when the snowy mix arrives. We'll have a high of 35 for tonight. A wet snow shower because kind of scattered about the area. Then drizzle uh, is the possibility mixing in 24 overnight. So not as a, not cold uh, to start the day tomorrow, but we get up to 29 breezy a little sunshine. More sun Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 15s there though, Wednesday and Thursday. And then for the weekend, we're warming up.